third time lucky Joe? I'm looking at the teams, and I think Pep's had a huge gamble on the fact that he can control the game. It's, it's going to be two things happening. It's either going to be a narrow win for Chelsea, or there's going to be Manchester City controlling possession. But... here for Antonio Rudiger for Chelsea. Emphasise their development tonight though Steve is about handling the pressure, responding yeah. to the challenge and performing well against English opposition in all three Champions League finals that he's managed in. On Stones for the first time. There's Rhys James who's starting as a right wing back tonight. The free kick is going to go to Chelsea here. Just when they have got men forward here, Chelsea. Havertz just able to keep it in and play it in, but Edison... Oh well. Ben Chilwell moving forward for the first time down that side, and Bernardo Silva tracking him all the way. Language told exactly how he was feeling. Stick to Sterling, he's in behind them, Rhys James gets back. And uh, Mendy was there as well. There isn't a goalkeeper anywhere in the world who can play a take the corner. It's it back again from Mount Vernon with a chance, a really good chance as well. Him. Manchester City the other way, in goes the ball, brilliant defending. Sterling plays the ball in, Mares trying to find a way round Rhys James, who defended it well back there for Chelsea. Subtlety. Mason Mount with a bit of room to turn, but he's been fouled there by Gundogan. But there is a score with a decent ball out there to Ben Chilwell, but he just straight offside. I think the general consensus was when we saw the team shut out. Yeah. It works its way here to Mount. Chelsea might be in. Werner with a chance. Edison with a save. He could have had two already tonight, Timo Werner. Here he is again. It's been the Timo Werner show up to now. And it's another one into the side netting. It took a deflection. Chelsea corner. And Havertz, who's in there for his height tonight. And that's a good De Bruyne. Be aware because Foden was flying in. Still having a nibble there, Phil. Chilwell's cross towards N'Golo Kante. Manchester City had two defenders back there. Kyle Walker had got back. Ruben Diaz as well, but it was... <laughs> Sterling's going to be playing now, hoping to win the biggest prize in club football. A foul there on N'Golo Kante. Taken by James, it's headed away by... Yeah, brilliant, wasn't it? Between Sterling to... ...of having spectators in the stadium, the Drago. Here's Walker. Didn't get it. Great place and power by Walker. Mandy happy to claim. Three problems, particularly a... A calf issue. Foden. Time move Foden out to the world towards the wide left position where he's been so successful recently. Referee prepared to give Chelsea the advantage. Floated in by Chilwell. It's a good ball. Werner then tried to tee it up nicely. Goes Sinchenko. Kante to James. Pocket of space, Edison came and didn't get there. Chance for Chelsea! Goal for Chelsea! Kai Havertz in the Champions League final. Edison couldn't get there. And Chelsea take the lead in Porto. And a man they paid a lot of money for last summer has been delivered when he really matters. Manchester City nil, Chelsea won. Kai Havertz. 
do you think for the second half, Glenn? Well, from does, City, does City make a, 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 a substitution or do they change shape? I, I, I would, I would have a look at Sterling a little. One nil up. Don't give anything silly away. And, uh, and playing City's half for for a minute or so. Just get get uh, get over the line for the half. Uh, because the first half, I don't think we saw the City that we've seen this season, the way they've managed games, controlled games completely. They haven't done that at all today. Chelsea, by contrast, were terrific. It's about just composure now, Chelsea. They were the better side in that first half. Solid, compact, much of the same. They've also got Pulisic on. I think he's going to have an impact in this game at some point on the counter-attack. What should City do? Sergio Aguero. I think that just nullified things happen. Phil Foden. Centre and up against the centre backs and, and use his pace in behind. And down at your bench and you what? There's five subs as well you can use. So there's loads of options for him. A foul there. It was left there for Foden and easily dealt with by Angolo Kante. Walker with the cross. That's a good take by Mendy. It was easy for Mendy. Ferner says you need a holding player in now, don't care at this level of football. It shows how, how well Chelsea have done. It's been a really good battle on that side, hasn't it, between Reese James and Raheem. Left foot, Ruben Diaz in the middle of it for Manchester City, and then helped on buying that night on BT Sport box office. And there's a collision here.